It's a bit like if there's a fire and you're just forced to like grab a certain few things. Possessions, not people. Hi guys and welcome back. So I thought I would do a video today on looking back on 2017. What were the best um, items that I I love the most and get the most pleasure out of using um, clothes, bags, shoes, whatever. And yeah, so that is basically what this video is. My my favorite things that I found for 2017. So just keep watching. Okay, so first up, I'm just looking at the things here because there's a, there's a few things, but not a ton. So I didn't want to pick everything because there's a lot of things that I love, as you know. But I just wanted to focus on the things that I if if I lost them somehow, I would miss them. So that's another way of looking at it. Okay, so first up is this thrifted men's grey blazer. This. This right here has been one of my favourite things that I have found for 2017, hands down. Um, I know I talked to you a lot about the Target. I call it Target, it's Target blazer. I love that blazer. I know it's gone and a lot of you love it and as long as a lot of you love it my job is done because I love finding things for you lot that are just absolute scores but when I put together that blazer and this blazer which essentially sort of serve the same category which is a grey menzy blazer and I really wanted to par down what I own I ended up picking this one over it now that is because the quality of it is it's just exceptional nothing wrong with the target one by the way trust me i still like that blazer um but this is a hundred percent wool and for me in new york i know that i will just from that alone i will get so much more use out of it it's just so much more functional and again i've talked to you about this before but these leather covered buttons I don't know what it is, but I just have a thing about leather covered, but they just bring me so much joy. <laughs> That's so, so ridiculous. But it does. Yes, it's men's because it's got the inside. Actually, this is men's. This men's too. Wow. Shock horror. This is not a men's blazer. I'm wearing a women's blazer. Who would have thought? Sometimes you put something on and it just fits. Like, it just feels so good to wear goes on and it's just perfect just the way it is and you just know I'm buying that found this from uh, no relation in the East Village just the fit this even the shade of grey I love that even I just oh here it is it's a little bit of a close-up so you can see it but I am I love it for me that was one of my favorite finds for 2017 by far okay and sticking with grey I'm going to show you the next thing that I have loved for this year. You're probably going to know this already. This is a real shocker for me. I'm surprised. But I know it's that litmus test that I said. If in, 20, if in 2018, I can't believe we're saying 2018, this wasn't around, I would miss it. And it is this long NAKD, NA-KD, I don't know how you say it, um, coat. This coat, this long grey goes on oh god look i'm still trying to show the end of it oh long coat that's how long it is it is super long and it's got a belt at the back so i can wear it trench style it's like i'm wearing a wool trench coat when i wear this i feel so chic like i will belt it sometimes i wear it open because it looks good open as well but sometimes i will belt it as well right oh sod it let me just put it on again it's the color I love the type of check on it as well. That's really, really pretty. Look at that. Really, really nice print. Oh, this is so good. Oh God, sorry, my phone. I know you lot hate when my phone's ringing. I always forget to turn the bloody thing off. Yeah, I like just the simplicity of it. I like that it's side pockets here, not like the bucket pockets that go like that. So you're walking around with your hands in your pockets like that, trying to look comfortable, but you're not really. This, I like that it's this way instead, because that to me is truly comfortable right when it comes in at an angle and then like i said i like the addition of the self belt and what i've always just done this so i'll just walk down the road and when it's really cold 
you know, I will do that as well, you know, if I'm just really, really cold. But generally speaking, I don't need to. I'll just be like this and I'll just wear like a nice warm like polar neck underneath or a neck, you know, with a bit of a neck to it. So I'm warm up there, nice and cosy. And I'll just walk down the street like this. Just really, really cosy, like I'm wearing like an outdoor dressing gown. And I'll just wear like a pair of loafers or just a pair of like flat ankle boots and be really warm and comfortable. If it's a sunny day in New York but cold, I'll put sunglasses on. Oh, this is just so good. I feel so, I don't know why I feel very, very chic when I wear this. And the wool percentage is very high as well. I believe it's like, I think it's 50% wool if I'm uh, correct. Anyway, if I find a similar to this or if this comes back in stock, because it has restocked a couple of times, I'll link it for you below. Okay, to move you. on to accessories now. Now, you may be able to guess this for like things that I've really, I'm so glad that I got in 2017. And um, I'll do bags actually. Two, these don't really need any introduction, but I'm going to do it anyway. One is, well, both of them are my Mark Cross bags. These flipping bags, oh God. This is more recent find. The Benchley bag, oh God, this color. It's like a chartreuse color. Really, really, just goes with way more than I thought it would. So I'm really happy about this bag. It comes with detachable, they both come with detachable straps, as you can see, just like this. Great, great bag. And the Mark Cross Grace bag as well. Just like a little simple suitcase. You already know. I've talked about this in so many videos already. But I a little flash of red and a reassuring sound like, listen, oh, it's just like a, you heard that clip. It's just like a real briefcase. Listen, you heard that? Ah, it's, ah. Simple, simple crap gets me going. I have not stopped with this flipping bag. It's just been on and on and on. So those are some two of my favorite bags that I found for 2017. And my birthday gift for 2017, the Gucci Marmon in velvet. This flipping color has just stolen my heart and I love this bag. It's the only bag that I got for 2017 that is, um, I will just say loud because it's got like the double G's on the front. So it's, yeah, I just, <sighs> again, I, I don't know what to say except how, look how it looks. Oh, oh, brown and blue go together. Hair and blue. <laughs> I love this thing. So happy I found it. I found it in London um, and it was sent over. I got it before the price increase. So I ended up getting a good deal on it. And I just, oh God, this is my one like, you know, bag where I don't mind that it was like, like I said, it's a little bit ostentatious. So I'm very, very pleased and so happy. One of my best finds for 2017 was my birthday present. And I'll move on. Oh, goodness. How could I not? How could I not include this as one of my best? This is probably the ultimate, like right there at the very top. Look at this. The corduroy three-piece men's suit. There's nothing much to say. I found this in high housing works and I just could not believe that this was there. I was just like, what are you, what are you, what? You know, your eyes pop out your sockets and you, you're like, you see it hanging there and you're going, oh, is that what I think it is? And you sort of go up to it and you go, oh my God, it is. This is not gonna go with what I'm wearing, but I don't care. And then you think, God, oh my God, it's it? It's a men's suit, it's corduroy, the color, oh! And then you think, oh my gosh, will it fit me? Oh God, I hope it fits, I hope it, you know like, there's like a, a passageway of thoughts that we all go through when we find something that we're like, holy, I need this in my life. But God, it really doesn't go with what I'm wearing. But, oh, yay, yay, oi! So in love with this thing. Oh my God, what a great find. And you know what, I, I swear I manifest stuff into my life as far as like um, things that I'm looking for fashion-wise because at the time that I found this, I was honestly every day thinking, God, I want a corduroy suit. If I could find, 
if I could find one, that would be amazing. I mean, a blazer at least, but a suit would be like perfect, you know, and I wanted it in this exact color. And I was thinking about it for like three weeks, almost every day. I know, sad, I know, I know. But, you know, and it was on my brain. And I thought, God, it'd be so great. And then I walk into Housing Worth and there it was, the exact thing that was in my brain. I couldn't believe it. Some of you must have, can tell me if you can relate to this. Have you ever m literally manifested something into your life, clothing wise? I swear it can happen. Honestly, I, I, I do believe it. And it's happened to me for other things. But anyway, I digress. I think, it, I think that's what I did. I'm, I'm convinced I did. So yeah, the sh oh, look at that. The shit, the tip. Freaking waistcoat, man. I am so wearing the wrong thing. I cannot in any way like show this off to the best of its ability. That makes any sense. But, oh, yes, so happy I got this. Okay, 2017, what else did I really like? This was actually later on in the year. I found that my best finds for 2017 were in the latter half of the year, like from my birthday, which is August to December. Before that, like I was even looking through my Instagram and my blog posts to remind myself of some of my things that I've just been wearing. And you know, I'm like, yeah, I like that, I like that. But it wasn't the same passion that I'm giving you now for these particular things. If some of those things that I wore during the summertime were gone, I would be fine with it. I mean, I'd be like, oh yeah, I like that. But okay, it's gone, gone. But these things, no, 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 no. These things I'm really happy I got and I, want to keep for 2018 I, i'm looking forward to wearing them still so these two it's the same shoe in different colors gotta put it in i know i know i know i know it's a oh i know i know what you're thinking oh karen they're everywhere karen flip it egg really can't you come up with something a bit different no i can't and the reason why i can't is because they're so flipping comfortable and they look so good on. These are exactly my foot shape. I was wearing before Topshop Carter loafers, but they have like a squared off toe and they just didn't work on me. But I don't know, there's something about the front is, they just were like pressing on my toe. I know it sounds really horrible, but I, I couldn't make it work. So I got these. They run half a size big, by the way. I'm a 40 and a half in these, and normally I'm a 41 in designer shoes. Look at me waving them around. Anyway, I got these first, and then I know I always liked the red. The red is coming out really like bright. It's more like a, oh, more like a lipstick dark red, like a true, I don't like orangey reds. I like almost like blue reds, if that makes any sense. Very cool, true reds with no orange in it. This is coming out with a bit of orange, I've noticed. Like I said, because it's black, it goes with everything. I've been reaching for these the most, but I have also been wearing the reds because it's such a classic punch color, isn't it? Um, yeah, easy as you like. As I always say, those kind of loafers, they fit really well. Um, some of you ask me about them. What do I think? Are they worth it? I mean, that's a very sort of subjective question. Are they worth it? Because it's all a matter of budget. Um, but for me, I found that they are worth it. Um, I'll link to some sites that I would that I got mine from and where I got my red ones from because these ones are actually the Brixtons so they actually fold down they have a line oh you can see the seam here so they fold at the back but I've never worn them I just don't like them like that so I've never worn them folded down I've always worn them as a true loafer and you can't really at least to me I can't really tell that I'm wearing a full version of a folded down shoe, if it makes any sense. And if you're the same as me and you like a certain red, then you will be happy to get the Brixton ones. Another best find of 2017 is my Topshop bucket bag. Oh God, this Topshop cherry. Oh. Now it doesn't smell like leather. Um, but this Topshop cherry bucket bag, I just, oh, I. Look at my face, look at that, look at Cheshire Cat, like my grin. I am so happy I got this bag. What is in it? You know when you've not gone in your bag for a while, you're like, what the hell is in your bag? Oh, I'm so glad I got this. Oh, Topshop, if you're watching, bring this bag back for spring. You really should, like bring it back, you have to. Maybe like expand on the colors or something, because this is such an adorable bag. Oh my gosh. This kind of structure and shape 
came out hard in 2017 from various designers and I'll link them on the screen, I'll show you on the screen who I'm talking about. But I've always thought that this was one of the best sort of um, versions, if you want to put it that way, of those. And I just really, really like it. It's almost like, it's a structured version of a straw bag, like the straw bags that came out really hard during 2017. Um, I almost put one in this video, but I thought, no, no, Karen, no, no, don't start showing your whole wardrobe on this video, because I could easily. Um, but yeah, this was definitely, I had to put this in. The Cherry Top Shop Bucket Bag. I'm in love with this thing. Again, I'm very particular about the reds. So what I'm seeing on the screen is a little bit brighter than how it looks in person. It actually looks like this. That is how it looks close up. I usually wear it like just like this just held in my hand right very simply like that or I've also taken a detachable strap out and just worn it like on my shoulder on my side like this and just go about my business but usually I just like it to me the way it's kind of designed to be held if you know what I mean this thick short strap it's very kind of cutesy isn't it or just wear it like that almost like a true basket bag right that's what I'm talking about I, I remember I bumped into one of you lot on the street and you were wearing it and you came up to me and you said Karen look I've got it too and I was like oh my god I love it on you so I, I know a lot of you who have got it have been like I got it as well love it so yeah, I'm with you, I love it as well, and I'm, yeah, I had to put it in the 2017 best of finds for the year. So yeah, I think that is it. You know me, I could go on. Should I add in one more? Hold on, hold on, let me see if I should. Okay, I'm so glad that I decided to put these two in. They're both glasses. Now, um, they both happen to be blue. I would have put the yellow ones in there, but the bloody things broke. Um, but yeah, they're so good, I'm going to find a replacement for them. But I also got them in blue, and I love the blue as well. <gasps> oh, God! So imagine these in yellow. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to get a yellow one for 2018. But got them in blue as well. Beacon's Closet for both of them. Love these glasses so much for the same reason. I even love it the way I'm wearing it with my, right now. So all like different shades of blue isn't it it's such an instant retro vibe to anything you're wearing which is so right up my street first of all um yeah and i just there's nothing i can say about these they're aviators i love how they suit my heart shaped face but aviators tend to be kind of like a universal shape i found and suit so many of us men and women and i think that's another way the reason why i like i like aviators so much is because they suit guys as well and it's, it's, it's a guy glass as well as a girl glass so it's not like girly Speaking of girly, these are also a favourite of 2017, believe it or not. And I got these from the same place where I got this vintage blazer, which is Love Day 31. I'll put the information down below. I talked about them in my best vintage shops in New York. If you've not seen that video, I'm going to be pointing my wagging my finger at you. I'll link it below. If you're coming to New York, I've done a guide on the best places to shop for vintage. This is where I got this and where I got these glasses. Look. Well, there's nothing much to say, really. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'm wearing them in St. Lucia. I mean, I just, oh, they're big, they're bold, they're blue, they're mirrored, they're cat eye, they're oversized, they're everything. And they literally are everything. I, God, I love these glasses so much. Um, definitely check out that boutique. They're located in Queens, Astoria. Worth going to, like I said, I'll link to them below. Um, but yeah, I love these glasses. Follow me on Instagram. You'll see what I'm doing in St. Lucia. I'm there with Michael and we are there at our parents' house just hanging out, just having a Christmas, New Year's Caribbean time, really. But I'm sure I'm going to be wearing these glasses as well. So yeah, that is it. I always wanted to put the Loewe puzzle bag in this, but because I love it so much and I've been using it hardcore, but I'm not going to because I just want to give it more time and just, you know, I'll do a review on it down the road. So I'm not going to put that in here. Um, but, I, but I do love it a lot and it goes with everything. But anyway, I don't want to start digressing. That's so easy for me to do when it comes to that. That is my lot. Those are my favorite finds for 2017. Yes, that is it. Mostly outerwear and again, 
things that I tended to find from the latter half of the of the year, the last six months of the year, are when I really came into kicked into overdrive and found the things that I'm like, yes, these are the things that I want to keep. Why am I doing all this in front of you? <laughs> these are the things I love and I want to hold on to. Absolutely, I'm so glad I found them. Anyway, that is it. That is my lot. Um, is there anything else I wanted to say? Not really. Share with me down below. What are your favourite finds for 2017? Just give me like your top three maybe. Usually it'll come straight to you like the top of your head. It's a bit like if there's a fire and you're just forced to like grab a certain few things. Possessions, not people. Just things that first come to your mind. Those are your best finds for this year. I bet you. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to follow me on my Instagram, Karen Britchick. Like I said, I'm in St. Lucia right now. So you can follow everything that's going on, especially my Instagram stories. Um, and see what the island is like. Uh, as you know, I'm originally from there. I'm born and raised in London, but my parents are from St. Lucia. Hence why I keep going there like during Christmas and New Year's and like, you know, those kind of times. All right, that is it. Um, I think I am done. Um, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.